Well, the IPCC just released a new report on global anthropogenic climate change, and the only thing that's possibly more horrifying to me than the details of this report is the widespread ambivalence that I'm expecting in response to this report. I just feel like people don't care about climate change. In a couple of days, you know, the uh, worries about this article will be forgotten and the news will move on. And even if people cared about climate change, uh, I, I think that it still wouldn't necessarily matter because our lawmakers just haven't addressed this issue with the urgency needed to stop catastrophic levels of climate change, assuming they've addressed this at all. And what this report spells out essentially is doom for the future of the human race, if there's even going to be a future for the human race at all. Yes, it's that bad. So I know that people don't really seem interested in any climate-related stories, but regardless, um, this isn't just your future that we're talking about. This is the present. Climate change is already here, and it's no longer this theoretical c concept of what might happen hundreds of years from now. It's happening in your lifetime, like it or not now. That's what this report says. So there's a couple of key takeaways here that I want to address first and foremost before we get to the general summary of the report by Common Dreams. Uh, basically, they conclude that at this point in time, it is undeniable that climate change is anthropogenic. That means it's caused by human activity. They are unequivocal. They are clear in stating this. Second of all, they explain that climate change at this point in time it's inevitable. It's already here, and we're going to pass multiple tipping points probably mid-century. So the goal was to stop a rise in the global temperature to uh, 1.5 and uh, 2 degrees Celsius. Uh, that's going to happen like it or not. Like Even if we do everything in our power now to stop that, we're already going to pass that tipping point, and by the end of the century, we may hit 4.4 degrees Celsius uh, You know, compared to pre-industrial levels. So, like it or not, we're fucked, and the UN Secretary General is describing the findings of this report as a code red for humanity, which I think is appropriate considering we're talking about entire countries being underwater within this century. And furthermore, climate change is occurring faster than scientists had uh, previously anticipated. But I mean, if what may or may not happen towards the end of the century doesn't give you the wake-up call that you need, we'll talk about what's expected to happen in the next couple of decades in your lifetime, if you're a millennial or a Zoomer. But first, I want to give you a general breakdown of what's in this report. So as Jake Johnson of Common Dreams explains, a panel of leading scientists convened by the United Nations issued a comprehensive report Monday that contains a stark warning for humanity. The climate crisis is here. Some of its most destructive consequences are now inevitable, and only massive and speedy reductions in greenhouse gas emissions can limit the coming disaster. Assembled by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, a team of more than 200 scientists the new report represents a sweeping analysis of thousands of studies published over the past eight years as people the world over have suffered record-shattering temperatures and deadly extreme weather from catastrophic wildfires to monsoon rains to extreme drought. The result of the scientists' work is a startling assessment of the extent to which human activity, particularly the burning of fossil fuels, has altered the climate, producing unprecedented planetary warming, glacial melting, sea level rise, and other changes that are wreaking havoc in every region of the globe, wiping out entire towns, imperiling biodiverse ecosystems such as the Great Barrier Reef and the Amazon rainforest, and endangering densely populated swaths of the world. Many of the changes observed in the climate are unprecedented in thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of years, and some of the changes already set in motion, such as continued sea level rise, are irreversible over hundreds to thousands of years, reads the report, which was approved by 195 member nations of the IPCC. Now, what the report does is it lays out five different models for climate change and what we can expect. The issue, however, is that even in the most charitable model to humanity, even in the most rosy picture, some things are just inevitable. There will be catastrophic levels of climate change even if we do everything that we need to do right now. For example, the global sea level is going to continue to rise. It already rose eight inches over the last 100 plus years. And if it continues, or I should say, when it continues in the next couple of decades, we're going to see a lot of devastation. 
This isn't something that's in the distant, distant future. This is something that millennials and Zoomers will see in their lifetimes. Now, before the IPCC report was released, the YouTube channel ASAP Science did a really great video explaining what we can expect when it comes to climate change in the next 20 to 30 years. So in 30 years, cities that house almost 200 million people will be underwater. Many cities will be underwater. This includes Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, Alexandria in Egypt, Mumbai in India. And I want to be clear, we're not talking about the end of the century. We're talking about by 2050. You're going to be alive to see this. You're going to be alive to see Mumbai be underwater. Also, portions of Jakarta in Indonesia will be submerged. Uh, by 2100, if, you know, if these distant cities that are out of sight and out of mind doesn't scare you well your grandchildren are going to see millions of people have to flee miami because that's going to be underwater by 2100 new orleans may be underwater by 2100 and on top of that cities that are lucky enough to not be submerged underwater entirely due to a global increase in the sea level well they still might be uninhabitable due to fatally high temperatures i'm talking about dubai i'm talking about abu dhabi shanghai china and scientists can basically just tell us point blank what will happen, but there's no way they can possibly anticipate the political ramifications of climate change. But I can tell you that it's not going to be great. If we see geopolitical rivals that are already, you know, um, adversaries, China and India, if we're going to see them both deal with massive refugee crises as a result of global climate change, well, of course, that's going to lead to further strain in their tensions, perhaps more wars. Um, if people around the globe are having to migrate in large numbers due to the area that they live in being uninhabitable, large portions of the Middle East by 2100, this is going to fuel a global refugee crisis that will undeniably lead to anti-immigration rhetoric. Uh, fascism will be on the rise. More politically extreme ideologies will become popular as a result of this. Water will become the primary resource that wars are fought over as opposed to oil. And on top of that, climate change is undoubtedly going to disrupt the global food supply and lead to nationwide shortages which means that we're going to see hoarding and panic buying become common phenomenons and not just something that we see occasionally as a result of you know an unprecedented pandemic and again i want to be really clear that this is something that you have to look forward to in your lifetime if you're a millennial or you're a zoomer by the time we're as old as the politicians that are in power right now who are choosing not to act this is what we can expect. And if you think that all of this is really unlikely, take a look at the wildfires that are happening in Greece or the wildfires that are an an annual occurrence in the Pacific Northwest. We just had a mass casualty heat wave in the Pacific Northwest where we had record-breaking heat waves. It's not just that climate change is going to get really bad in the, in the future. It's already bad. But what the IPCC report ultimately is telling us is that what we have left in our control is how bad we're going to allow it to be. It's going to be bad. It's going to be catastrophic. So if you don't care now, you're going to have to care very, very shortly. But how bad are we as a species going to allow it to become? Unfortunately, the pessimist in me says we're going to let it get really bad. And, you know, we're not going to pay attention until... We're forced to pay attention, right? As long as we have these distractions, as long as we can entertain ourselves with, you know, stories that are uh, about celebrities and, and drama, then we'll try to tune out climate change. But climate change is knocking on our doors and it's getting harder and harder to ignore. So I don't know what's left to say. The future is very, very bleak. And, you know, this is no longer some distant thing where you know we have to feel sorry for our grandchildren and great grandchildren if you're alive today if you're old enough to watch this video if you're a millennial if you're a zoomer you get to look forward to absolute misery and chaos in 20 and 30 years like it's already bad now it's gonna get a lot worse so if we choose to act even if we do everything in our power to stop climate change it's still not going to be enough climate change will be catastrophic but minimizing 
the destruction is still in our control. The only question is whether or not we're going to take it seriously. And the answer is probably no, 